Hello and welcome to another episode of Critical Coffee Considerations with me, Francis Peck. What do we have in store today? Well, I got my first roasting profile with my homemade thermocouple measuring device. And I did the experiment on, on some China beans quite nicely flavored coffee from there um, and what I'm going to do today is something I've been wanting to do for some time that is comparing pressure achieved with the flare espresso and then seeing for the same grind setting what I get for my Delonghi Dedica so actually, I kind of made a calculation that to have the same kind of depth when I'm using 11 grams on the Dedica, that should correspond to 6.8 grams on the flare with its uh, smaller uh, bucket size, which in turn should correspond to um, a 58 millimeter porter filter uh, filled with 14 grams so so an espresso doppio so we're able to make a comparison between flair and dedica for something that in a bar you you would usually get as a single because in a bar usually they would make doppios you know making two at the same time so let's see how that will go at the same time just combining everything one episode i will kind of have a look at the uh, eureka mignon and, and so how it is how the retention is well at least i i um, i just had one gram before so to get any kind of older residues out of the way um, and so although this is not a single shot i mean you know, usually you make one few coffees a day, so let's go and see. So first off, this is a little bit just a trick. I'm actually using this uh, distributor from the Flare, also from my Dedica. This way I can prevent making a mess. Let's uh, first weigh this out. Okay, well, 10.4. So I did lose a bit during the grinding, which of course makes the comparison less precise. So for my wise distribution tool, I, I just use this tapas fork, which, you know, I, I consider this, you know, a neat trick instead of custom building one with acupuncture needles, like you see in other videos. Um, I found this at a local cuisine shop and, and it does the job perfectly, in my opinion. So, okay. okay. Okay, so I'll I'll try to exert similar pressure for both setups. So here then in, instead we we have Okay, now it's actually saying 7.2. No, that wasn't accurate. Let's tear this. Okay, it's stirred. Okay, so now it's giving a little bit more than I weighed before. Let's uh, okay, so now we have 6.8.
grinding this one. Okay, and now we end up with uh, 6.9. So that gives a, a little bit of variation there. So these kind of zero retention grinders, like the niche, something like that, I do assume they are better in getting you consistency, but is it is it worth the price i well i'm not able to compare so i'm not able to say okay so we have the two espressos ready i preheated the water i actually also preheated this a little bit so i can do the setup we go. pressure control this okay okay this is ready let's preheat the cups a bit okay water boiling yes here we go So first, of course, I'll just get, let's, let's get the water in here. So it will be kind of a challenge synchronizing these two things. Let's go here. Okay. Prepare this. There we go. Cups are ready. Get the pressure gauge in here and then just uh, let's go. I'll try and go up to nine. Actually, yes, should go. How is this getting a little bit of sprouting there? Trying to keep up to nine bars because. As advertised, the, the Dedeka should be going up to... And now we're hitting 25. Okay. I'm stopping this. Okay. Before I do any... Weighing. Okay. Okay. Let's get this out. Again, you should remove this immediately so that this doesn't jump off and now the interesting part where did we get more okay well we <laughs> we do get a lot more out of so this was the uh, this was the flare, this was the dedica. Um, as far as rate is concerned, of course now I'm in a little bit of a predicament. I'll, I have to tear it again, of course, between those experiments. So that's they have the same weight, so this should at least be okay. Okay. There we go. So with the flare, we got about 25.1 grams out of it. I mean, in this sense, a perfect single shot. And with, uh, with the Dedica, we got 34.8 grams, uh, but a substantial bigger amount of, of crema. A bit, a bit sour on the flare. And a bit watery on the Dedica. So with the flare we went up to this nine bars of pressure quite consistently uh, but the dial-in wasn't perfect yet so this this first experiment to, to compare what was happening with the pressure and 
there was some sprouting so I guess the the pressure and the preparation for doing this experiment at the same time was was too much uh, scientifically we would have to repeat this well we would have to dial it in first really for good getting consistent results on both machines and then doing it three times over uh, to see uh, how it truly compares and, and that, of course at some point you if you really want to know what kind of pressure is hitting the puck in the Dedica uh, you would have to uh, um, get a pressure gauge inside there too so uh, let's call this experiment still inconclusive uh, and uh, see you next time bye Okay, actually, I went into the numbers because in the end, the weight doesn't matter too much because we're using a bigger amount for the Dedica. So the ratio for the Dedica was actually 3.2 weight in, out on uh, the, the, the volume you get out. And for the flare, it was 3.7. So given that the pressure what's the pressure on the dedica then uh, well it didn't create channeling at least not more than on the flare so did it really go up to 15 bars of pressure i doesn't seem so from this first kind of test uh so that's i guess that's good you, you don't necessarily need to worry about your dedica going up to 15 bars of pressure when you're making espressos